theorem 12.5 is the surface area of a right cone. The fact that it's a right cone merely means that when I drop this height down from the vertex, it creates a right angle with my base. And that it's in the center of this circle. But let's look at this. So we have the right area, or we have the surface area of a right cone. To do that, we recognize that the net of this cone is our circular base. And then we take the lateral area, and that creates this circle sector. Where our slant height, because again, we do have a slant height for a cone, where the actual height is a line that gets dropped straight down. The slant height here is the length of this radius of the circle sector. Furthermore, the arc of our circle sector is the circumference of the red circle. So it's the same as 2 pi r, where r is the radius of our base. I know that was a lot of geometry to kind of pull out of this 3D figure, but it's important to recognize this. So what we end up getting then is our surface area will be the area of the base, so this red area, that's part of it. So surface area equals base, where B is the area of the base, plus the area of this blue circle sector. And to find that, that's going to be actually this circle sector area is a little tricky to find, so I'm going to show you how to find this over here. OK, we have our circle sector, which has a radius L. And its arc length is equal to 2 pi r, where r, now you got to be really careful about this, this r is the radius of the base. We can set up a proportion. We know the area of the circle sector to the area of the entire circle, which is a circle if we were to continue our arc, must be equal to the arc length of the circle sector to the circumference of the entire circle. Let's see. The area of the circle sector is what we're looking for. We want that. So we're just going to leave that as the area of the sector. The area of this entire circle, the blue circle, is pi L squared. So pi times the slant height squared. This is going to equal our arc length, 2 pi r, to our circumference, which is 2 pi L. The two pi's cancel, leaving me with just r l. And now I can solve for the area of the sector, which will be r times l, or sorry, r over l times pi l squared. One of the l's cancel, leaving us with just pi r l. Thus, my blue area here is pi r l. So we take the base plus pi r l, where c is our circumference, r is our radius, and l is our slant height. There are a couple of different ways we can write this formula. Um, equivalent we, equivalently, we can say b plus 1 half circumference times slant height, which is the same as pi r squared plus pi r l. All three of these are the same. You'll probably be most comfortable with either the second version or the third version. Whichever one you're most comfortable with, stick with that and just use that from now on. And now we can move into an example. 